I'm standing at the foot of Mount Etna at the little town of Solokyanta at the Cantina Russo Winery. You can see Mount Etna right behind me and what an amazing backdrop to cook a dish using Oleana Passata di Pomodoro. Passata di Pomodoro is normally used for pasta sauce or ragus, lots of slow braised dishes. I'm going to do a cotoletta di male, which is basically a crumbed pork chop, most commonly done with veal, and in Australia we call it a veal schnitzel. So to start my little tomato sauce, I just want to chop some garlic. So I just squash that with the heel of a knife. We get rid of that skin. Take a little pinch of salt and run through it. So I just want to take a pinch of picked rosemary leaves here. If you want to chop them pretty fine because they're quite woody, but you don't need to go overboard. A small handful of capers. Just want to really coarsely chop them. And last but not least, I want to halve up some cherry tomatoes to go with this. Six or seven, possibly eight. So these will just give a bit of texture to this sauce. So just slice them in half with a knife and that's it, done. It's going to take a pot. You want to get this kind of on a medium temperature, not too hot. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil into there, just enough to give a film really. We don't need to flood it. Straight into there, my garlic. The roughly chopped capers. So I've added a little pinch of dried chili into there and anchovy, but if you don't like those, just leave it out. That's absolutely fine. Gently cook this garlic out, just until it's really soft but not browned. We're kind of looking for the garlic to be translucent, really. I'm going to go in with a pinch of rosemary, and I've got my halved tomatoes. I'm just going to squeeze them straight in. So I'm going to cook the tomatoes out just for a minute or two in here, really, just so they start to soften up and break down a little before going in with the passata di pomodoro. Okay, so these tomatoes are just really softening up and I kind of just want to draw some of the moisture out of there, really. And now I'll go in with some of the passata di pomodoro. About a cup. I'm going to cook that on a low-medium heat until it's reduced by about one-third. So for the cotoletta, it's pretty easy. It's a pan air process or crumbing. So I've got some really coarse breadcrumbs I've made here and I could go ahead and just crumb that straight up, but I want to bring in a whole lot of other flavors because I've got the opportunity to do that. I've got some dried chili, which I'm going to put into there. You could use fresh if you wanted to, but for frying, I actually kind of prefer dried. And I'm going to use just a little bit of rosemary and roughly chopped parsley. And we start giving this mix around. I might get some pepper in there as well, not salt at this stage. So you want to rub the crumbs in between your hands for a couple of reasons really. To make the crumbs a little smaller, but also to really push the herb flavours into the crumbs. Get all those beautiful resins out of the rosemary and into the bread. Next step of this recipe is pretty straightforward. We've all crumbed schnitzels. It's basically the same process, except my crumbs are really great. I have a pork chop. And here's how it looked before I bashed it out. I basically just trimmed a little bit of the fat off uh, and removed one of the bones and I've used a rolling pin and popped this in between a couple of pieces of cling film just to flatten it out to about five millimeters thick. So I've got one bone left here and at this stage of the game I want to season it up. Both sides and you can be pretty generous with this as well. So from here it's super easy, I can go directly to the crumbing process. Straight into the flour, egg wash, into the breadcrumbs, and we start cooking. Just going to turn it over. You don't need to go crazy with the flour, just as long as it's got a really light dusting. You can give it a little bit of a pat, just to get rid of any excess. And then into the egg wash. You want to make sure the egg wash coats all of the pork, otherwise the breadcrumbs won't stick to it. And there's nothing worse than having a cotoletta or schnitzel where there's kind of holes in the crumbs. Once you put it through the egg wash, you want to give a little bit of a drizzle around just to get rid of as much of the egg wash as possible. If you get too much egg wash on there, well, apart from the fact you don't need it, it tends to kind of clump up with the breadcrumbs. So from here, we can go straight into the crumbs. So really use your hands to push the crumbs right into the meat. Don't be scared to give it a little bit of force. You want the meat to grab onto the crumbs. So to shallow fry the cotoletta, I just want to put a film of olive oil in there. We're not deep frying here. So I'm looking for the oil to be sitting around 165 to 180 degrees, which is optimal frying temperature. Any less than that, and we're going to boil the produce, whether it be fish, tempura, or in this case, cotoletta, in the oil. Really simple trick I've been doing since I was 18 years old is to pop one breadcrumb into the oil, and if it starts frying, we're ready to fry our food. Very gently lower it in, and just be really careful you don't drop it in and splash oil up in your face. 
And this is exactly what we're looking for. You can see this is sizzling away. We just want to cook it till it's browned, probably about three to five minutes each side. So carefully lift it up using tongs and have a bit of a look under. And you can see it's golden brown. This is a good sign. So I'm going to turn it over and we start cooking the other side. So it's been cooking for two to three minutes on each side. And as you can see, it's beautiful, crispy, golden brown as the way it should be. So to finish off the Passata di Pomodoro sauce, I'm just gonna tear some basil directly into this sauce at the very last minute so it really keeps its shape. So to finish up, I'm just spooning over a little bit of my sauce using the Oleana Passata di Pomodoro over the top of my Cotoletta di Maale here in Sicily. Enjoy.